Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys some valuable insights that I would love to have told my old self when I was looking to break into cybersecurity. This video is geared towards people who are beginners looking to get their first career or their first role in cybersecurity, or if you're someone who is in college studying cybersecurity, I hope to give you guys some insights and some valuable tips to help you guys progress your careers and set you guys up for success. If you guys find any value in this video, go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and also if you want some more short form content and career content go ahead and follow me on instagram and tiktok at cyber with ben so if you're someone who is a complete beginner when it comes to cybersecurity, or if you're someone who is studying cybersecurity in university and you have no idea what you can do right now to help prepare you in the future to land your first job in cybersecurity, i'm going to walk you guys through several tips that i've done myself and also some tips i regret not doing in the past as well to set you guys up for success with landing a job in the future. So number one is going to be make sure you are networking throughout your entire journey, especially when you first get started. So if you're someone in college, make sure you're looking through all the different types of clubs that your university has to offer. If you're someone looking to get into cybersecurity, maybe looking at a cybersecurity club, a CTF or a capture the flag club, maybe even a coding club, things of that sort will get you around people who think the same, who have similar interests and who have similar ambitions. In addition to that, you can also look into different webinars, different conferences, different groups like Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, things of that sort that you'll find on social media are great ways for you to meet some new people and also expand your network. While you're in these networking groups, also consider looking for mentors, people who are ahead of you in their careers and you want to achieve similar things in your career. These are some people that are good to network with and also learn from. Speaking from my own personal experience, during some of my internships that I had in the summer, I networked with a few other interns and these connections helped me land a few future roles and actually the current role that I'm at today. Before we continue on in the video, I want to introduce you all to today's video sponsor, Zero to Mastery. Zero to Mastery is an online platform that teaches you the most in-demand tech skills that will help you kickstart your career in cybersecurity and tech. They offer the best cybersecurity courses you'll find online, with two of my favorites being the Complete Ethical Hacking Bootcamp and the Complete Cybersecurity Bootcamp Zero to Mastery. The courses take you step-by-step -step from any skill level to mastering cybersecurity. And what I love most is that they actually teach you how to build real world projects as you learn. For example, in the ethical hacking course, you'll get hands on and you'll learn how to build projects like an email scraper tool, a brute forcer, and also a backdoor, which is the number one weapon of hackers and an essential skill to know to land a job. ZTM also has the most active Discord community in tech with over 400,000 fellow students that you can learn alongside with. They also have a community of instructors and TAs who can help you answer any question. And when you finish a course, you'll get a certificate of completion that you can use on our resume and your LinkedIn that can help you land your first job. When you sign up, you'll get access to all of their courses, career paths, workshops, and community. With everything you're getting, it's extremely affordable when you compare it to the other options of this quality. If you're unsure where to start, they have this cool career path quiz that gives you a personalized roadmap to reach your specific goals. If you want to check out the courses that I mentioned earlier or the free career path quiz, I'll leave a link to all of them in the description below. Thank you to Zero to Mastery for sponsoring today's video. Number two is going to be whether you're in college or you're self-studying, finding a part-time job is going to be a huge thing to have on your resume when you start applying for full-time cybersecurity jobs. Ideally, when you're in school or when you're studying, you want to have some form of part-time job on your resume. For example, myself, I was working at Apple part-time as a technical expert, so I was doing a lot of troubleshooting. I was doing some form of consulting and also brushing up on a lot of customer service and soft skills. Working a part-time job throughout my entire college career career helped me so much with building my communication skills, my collaboration skills, and so much more. Some ideal part-time jobs that you should be looking into while you're in school or while you're studying should be things like IT support roles, customer service facing roles, also maybe some retail technology kind of role. Things of that sort will give you hands-on experience and also brush up on your communications and soft skills. Every single part-time job that you do or a club that you join should be able to push your resume forward and look good on your resume in order to apply for cybersecurity full-time jobs. Everything should be planned and for a reason and having that meticulous mindset really helped me out, especially when it came to applying for full-time jobs after I graduated from college. 
Number three is going to be getting certifications during your free time or during the summer. One thing that I believe I could have done better is prioritizing certifications during my summer breaks. A lot of times during the summers of the school year or also throughout the entire school year, I had a lot of downtime and extra capability to take on studying for a certification. Now these don't have to be any sort of complex or advanced level certifications. You can take things like the Security Plus or any of the entry level cloud certifications. These entry level certifications are gonna look so good on your resume when it's time to start applying for internships and full-time jobs. They're also going to set you apart from all the other people applying to internships and also the other students because a lot of times students just get the degree. They don't have any certification. They don't have any part-time job experience. This is what's really going to set you apart from the rest of the other applicants. The next tip that I have for you as a beginner in cybersecurity is going to be finding out what you want to do in cybersecurity and what interests you. A lot of times people have no idea what they want to do in cybersecurity because it's so vast. There's so many different types of roles and jobs in cybersecurity. But if you're able to narrow down what interests you and what you want to do in cybersecurity, that is going to help you so much when determining what you should be learning, what kind of skills that you should be gaining in the beginning stages of your career. So to find out what you you want to do in cybersecurity first of all you can do your own research find out different youtube videos do some research online read up some blogs understanding what kind of lifestyle these people have what kind of skills they require what kind of tools they use and find out if these things kind of interest you so once you get an understanding of what you want to do in cybersecurity consider taking an entry-level certification to get a better taste of what it's like to actually work in that role and also learning some of the skills that are required so the next tip is probably going to be the biggest tip that I have for you if you're someone who is in college or also in the beginning stages of your cybersecurity career, and that is going to be prioritizing a getting a summer internship throughout your entire college career, especially during your junior and senior years of college. So internships are going to be so valuable for you, especially a beginner in cybersecurity, because first of all, you get paid to learn. Second of all, you have an opportunity to network with a bunch of professionals in the industry right now. And also it looks so good for your resume. You learn some professional skills. You learn what it's like to work in a corporate environment. It's so valuable, especially going in once you graduate college. When you start applying for jobs, these companies see that you have professional experience when it comes to internships, and that's going to set you apart from all of the other applicants. And the last tip that I have for you when it comes to being a beginner or someone who is in college, it's going to be start building a personal brand for yourself. Now, this isn't required because a lot of people don't want to be blogging or don't want to make videos or write and things of that sort. But having this platform and being able to speak in public is actually really helpful and you're able to market yourself to maybe potential employers. So what I mean by building an online presence, this ranges anywhere from things like when you do a project, you just want to go ahead and post a blog post of how you did it, its impact and what you learned, what tools you use. It could be as simple as that. It could be something like maybe writing some posts on LinkedIn, sharing your experiences as you learn stuff in different classes, uh, your internship experiences. Also, if you want to start a YouTube channel, make videos uh, like this right now, talking about cybersecurity, helping other people break into the industry. These are some ideas of things that you can build to help build your personal brand and your online presence to lead to potential job opportunities and also to expand your network. That is going to be it for all the tips that I have for this video. If you guys found some value from it, please go ahead and drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers. If you guys want some more short form content and career advice and personal content, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.